What's up, YouTube? I'm Chuck the Liberty Geek, and today I got two guests with me. Introduce yourselves, starting with Matt. Hello. I'm drinking tea. We have Next. Matt and... Who hey. is... A... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and we have Jake somewhere There's in my Jake. house um, getting <laughs> murdered. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Halloween, everyone, even though it's a little early. Um, but we had an interesting show for you today. We got Matt, my personal best friend on the internet of 12 years. Internet who bestie. Is, uh, who is also happens to be my other half on the Atlantic Bromance, but not in a homosexual way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, he really? is our primary recorder as well as our movie editor. And he is also in school for game design. And then we also have the well-known Adam Brett, libertarian, anarchist. Oh, yeah, anarchist. Clearly everybody knows me with all five views each video. Yeah, he, great. Yeah, he yeah. is just as famous as Stefan Molyneux. Um, oh, yeah. I and half is British. <laughs> and half is British. So I think we have a good uh, – we got a good time to start. So let's get right into it, guys. Um, I have a topic today, and the reason I picked this topic was I love Deadpool. No, I'm kidding. Um, well, you reason, do, but, you know. I, I, the reason I picked this topic was, um, as, as we know, uh, uh, not too long ago, about a couple weeks or so, um, there were some celebrity nudes leaked on the B-board of 4chan. Well, because of this incident, for some reason, 4chan was forced to adopt a DMCA policy, a DMCA takedown policy. Um, while life will go on on 4chan... This, this does piss me off a little bit. Um, these were not any copyrighted images, which is what um, DMCA de deals with. This is copyright. Um, but they are trying to claim that these nudes of Jennifer Lawrence and so on were copyrighted. And um, I don't know why they were on iCloud in the first place, but maybe I just don't trust the cloud. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. Adam, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. In the United States, what is copyright? Well, let's first let's let's talk about DMCA, uh, which is something you first mentioned. It's the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Basically, what this does, and this was implemented uh, in 1996. Uh, actually, partially in 1996, as part of a treaty with the World Intellectual Property Organization, or WIPO. Uh, uh, it was also uh, passed October 12, 1998, uh, the DMCA Act. Uh, basically, what this says is. It criminalizes the act of circumventing an access control, uh, whether or not there's actual infringement of copyright itself. So basically, uh, if you have access to copyrighted works, uh, whether or not it's legitimate intellectual property or copywritten itself, uh, if basically, essentially, if you hack shit uh, from a website or from a person, uh, that's apparently illegal shit, uh, which, you know, I would agree that taking somebody's private property, you know, in the form of pictures... You know, especially in the case of, you know, hacking somebody's iCloud account. Really shady, but we'll get onto that here in just a minute. But really, with copyrights, uh, it's essentially a way for, uh, you know, both people in the physical and digital realm of production uh, to essentially stake claim on this and say, if you copy this in part or in full, uh, not only are you, you know, basically doing me wrong, but you're going to be doing the state wrong. And... Obviously, that doesn't sit too well with people because there is no such thing as an original idea. The idea of intellectual property, insofar that we need the state to enforce, uh, you know, how people use their intellectual property, uh, you know, such as video game design or music or things like that, uh, you know, I think it's a poor idea for uh, a company to go and do, uh, you know, really anything on the internet that they don't want somebody else to copy and either make better uh, or just, you know, straight up steal. Uh, you know, if you're gonna put a dig if you're gonna put a sound file on out there as intellectual and say this is my intellectual property, uh, you know, don't copy this. You probably shouldn't put it on the internet to begin with. Uh, because, character, you know, do not steal. Yeah, it's it's just one of those weird things that I find with with intellectual property and with with copyright is that they they think that this is somehow stealing. Now, yes, would it be great if everybody paid for every song or paid for every game or whatever? Well, yeah. 
But here's the thing. There is no scarcity on the Internet. I mean, there's a scarcity of really intelligence, kind of, uh, when it comes to half the Internet world. You know, there's a bunch of morons, as we all know. But there is no scarcity. My ownership of an MP3 file does not preclude somebody else from owning that exact same file. Uh, but we can kind of dig into that. Now, I'm not going to claim to be any kind of copyright or uh, intellectual property intelligent anything. Uh, uh, Stefan Kinsella, um, you know, he's a, a constant contributor to the Voluntary Virtues Network. He's done a lot more work on it than I have. So please, please read against intellectual property and go to him for advice on this stuff, please. Uh, I, I don't want to be the expert on this, but uh, I guess I'll be the on-panel expert for this for this conversation. So... Where do you want to go from here, Chuck? What's the what's well, the question? Um, first off, um, Matt, I'll, I'll ask you this: Do you think let's let's not just pretend let's let's not debate copyright yet? But I want to ask you: Do you think personal pictures of your nude self can be copyrighted? Not um, for like commercial use, but if you took copyrighted, no, I don't no really it's. It's a weird one, but at the same time, if it's something, a photo that you've taken and you don't want it used for anything else, I don't think it is right for somebody else to come along, take that, and then use it to make money. That is wrong. But do you but, think, let's say I steal your nudes, because okay. we all want them. Okay. And yeah. I post them on 4chan. Right. Should you have the right to immediate, go to go to Moot, or whatever mod happens to be on, and say, hey, I don't want these there. Take it down on 4chan, like, for example. I think I have the right to say they should be taken down, but in the end, if I didn't want them on the internet, I wouldn't have taken them and put them on the internet to be found. Thank you. Thank you. And just because you have the right to say that, do you think that they should be forced to do it, though? Yeah, I think so, because in the end, it is still, you know, something I don't want other people seeing without my permission. Well, and this is where we get into interesting territory, I think. Um, you know, obviously, if any of these websites, you know, take 4chan, Reddit, whatever, had any kind of sympathy whatsoever, they would pull it down just as a terms of service violation on their own because, uh, you know, obviously it's not illegal to post nudes or it's not against terms of service to post nudes, but... It is in California. Uh, from what I understand... Well, yeah, but... Revenge you know, side porn of, is cares illegal. Yeah. <laughs> That's those, true. Those, they, those aren't real people in California. I'm sorry. Fuck those people. <laughs> uh, so... There goes half the market. I'm sorry, but uh, you God know, uh, eh, 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 Hollywood. I don't Michael care. Michael Shanklin's gonna um, kick you off the network. Well, it that's can't fine. Hold off for telling it how it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but the the point is, you know, if if I want, let's just say my news got put up on 4chan and Reddit. Oh yeah. I will, I will go to mods. I will go to people, and yeah, yeah you want to see my fat rolls and all the stretch marks? Mm -hmm. Great, oh, awesome. That, that just turns so many people on. <laughs> Just, just go ahead and lick right up my, uh, my stretch mark over here. Oh my go for it. <laughs> oh my god! I think I'm about to vomit. Anyway, get away from people. all that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, my dudes are on the internet, or somehow they, somebody hacked my my cloud account for my my phone company, and they posted it on Reddit and 4chan. I th you know, we have the right to go to these websites and say, hey. Pull this down, please. I don't want these to be spread everywhere. And you know, if they say yes, then then great. Uh, but I don't think you should have to go to the state to go ahead and do that. A lot of people will understand. You know, even the assholes on 4chan, you know, they'll understand. Hey, this is something that really shouldn't be getting leaked out there. We should probably find a way to cover this up. You know, people are going to screen cap it. People are going to download the shit, and there's not much I can do about it. It's going to get reposted elsewhere, and it'll be my 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 job for the rest of my life to figure out how to pull it all down, but to use the state on something that you really can't claim legitimate copyright on uh, because it's not being used for sale. And you know, let's keep in mind that Reddit and 4chan, how often are they actually making money on your pictures being put up there? I don't They're think not. they it was leaked Fort and put up there to be used for money. I can't I can't speculate for Reddit because I don't go down there as much, but 4chan makes its money on advertisements. It does not make its money on pictures being posted or anything like that. They only make money on ad space. Right. And, you know, this is where we get into the kind of the gray area. Obviously, I don't think any of us would disagree that it was a poor idea for somebody to go and hack, you know, these, these women. No, I it, think was it was very wrong. It was slimy. It 
was wrong. It was, I mean, morally reprehensible. But also at the same time, when you're a famous person, you got to be very careful what you put in the cloud. Now this kind of gets into a little bit of gray area of. Yeah, iCloud is so easily hackable. It's just sad. But and I don't want to get into the whole concept of victim blaming because I, I'm not going to blame Jennifer Lawrence or you know whoever the other women are that got hacked. I mean, uh, you it's know, her, that it's hacking her picture. should not she's have happened. Them, yeah, it's her pictures. She's allowed to put them where they where where she wants to. But at the same time, no, right. you know she's a a very very public figure being an actress, and she's on screen a lot, and so that attention is going to make you careful. a target. Yeah, you just oh need yeah to for sure. I think she should have been more careful, but I'm not going to blame her and say she oh, had this coming just for putting her pictures on iCloud. Oh, yeah, it's, it's by no means her fault. Oh. I mean, you know, hindsight and the things you do for the people. Right, of course. And stuff like that, but... Remember, Matt, you and I, we can't put our nudes together at, um... Oh. Uh, we shouldn't put our nudes on iCloud, especially since I don't own a single Apple product. Well, but one of my we'll first computers to... was an Apple. I will admit, one of my first computers was, an, was a Macintosh, but... Yeah. You're dead Wait, to I'm make like, the call. I'm talking like early 90s Macintosh, okay? Back when, like, they were not... Back when they, yeah, we're back kicking when they were just as they are Yeah. Yeah, but so, the point is... But here's the... Yeah. The point is, is that... What, what kind of makes me mad is I don't think that these images were copyright, and thus I don't think that these images would... You you would have any claim to for first of all, if we look at the system we have now, I don't think there are any way that the state could get involved and get these pictures pulled down because they're not from a movie, they're not copyright. These are just some women some woman's personal nudes. So how the hell well, the then DMCA again. takedown policy get taken from this? Well then again, say. if Jennifer Lawrence was to say take one of her nudes Upload it to DeviantArt, which automatically puts it under the Creative Commons. Then it's copyrighted. Okay, but it wasn't. Okay, fine, fine. That's true. Or is the term copywritten? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm ignorant. Well, at I the same time, with the with Creative Commons, though, that gives you that gives you the right to reshare and redistribute and and alter in whatever means necessary with a proper attribution and uh, kickback to the original poster. You know, take for example. Most, if not all, of the videos on my channel, at least early on, on my Liberate the Republic channel, all of mine are Creative Commons, which means somebody can go and literally just re-upload my video. And as long as they throw a link in their description, I I'm never going to go and search people out. I'm not going to be that kind of an asshole. Yes, they, but, they have you know, to, my uh, voice is going to be there. But, they have to uh, yeah, as long as they give a link to, it, to you. It's and if, well, it's, uh, as long as they give a link to the original and they, uh, they are not allowed to make any money off it as well. Which, fine. Right. Which, and, you know, frankly, she, as far as I'm concerned, people should make money off mine if I don't, but, you know, whatever. Right. <laughs> she didn't. But, but she didn't post it on DeviantArt because who the fuck wants to go on DeviantArt? 14-year-olds <laughs> um, oh. Naruto fans. Um, and two, I still don't think that – I just don't understand how a DMCA policy came out of this. It's not like a movie got posted, which – Okay, yes, 4chan has been known to be massive pirates. Fine. But here's my... At first, I was really mad about this whole 4chan getting a DMCA policy, but on the other hand, I'm not as mad anymore now that I think about it, because the way the nature of 4chan is there are only two boards right now that have any archives whatsoever, and on those two boards, those archives only last for two days. But on other boards, there is no such, there is no first-party 4chan actual archive. Every any archives are done in third-party, not related to 4chan. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, and that content will be up at for like a couple hours at most. For the slow boards, maybe a couple days. But like on B, you're talking like couple hour, like couple hours at the most, because 4chan automatically will close threads if they get too big. It just happens. So I think it's almost kind of pointless because unless it, unless it's someone's job to monitor 4chan 24-7 to file a DMCA notice, I know some of them are automated now, but I don't know what the algorithm is and how we deal with still shots. It sounds to me like they've just doubled up on rules that more or less just exist. It's just something they... 
It's they just can, like they can say they did lip... something so they don't get in trouble. Yeah, it's almost like Moots just giving lip service to the lawyers at this point. But... Well, what he's what he's done is he's given not only lip service to the lawyers and to the state, uh, but he's also effectively given them, given them their gun back and, yeah. and put, put the gun behind. Uh, it is really you know, weird because all the users, you know, if they choose to put up content such as this. Because, so, you know, M for Moot used to talk about how 4chan was originally created. Well, A, it was a, supposed to be a copy of 2CH, which I won't get into because it's nerd talk that has nothing to do with Liberty. But the other reason he came up with it is because in the West, we didn't really have these many places where usually you needed a screen name to post something, as far as I understand it. And then 4chan came out, and you didn't need it. Thank you, Jake. Um, you didn't need... He's dancing for me. Um, you didn't need a screen name to post on 4chan. You didn't even need an account. It was literally Jake's just... dancing for you. Why aren't you making it rain right now? There. There you go. I don't have any cash in my wallet. <laughs> Can't make it rain. Can you make it rain for me, Matt? Uh, I don't have any cash either, sorry. Um, yeah, that's why. Um, I'll but... throw a check. But then it comes down to... Now 4chan is kind of... Moot's almost gone back on it now because if you get hit with these notices, okay, mods have access to your um your IP address. That's how they moderate, so they can IP ban someone off a board, right? So now right. with these DMCA takedown notices, these people who are getting takedown requests, 4chan's getting is 4chan going to be handing over these IP addresses of the people who post this stuff that? invokes the DMCA takedown. I'm a little worried about that. Well, and, and here's one of the other problems that we see. This uh, this kind of gets rid of the whole idea of anonymity on the Internet. Now, granted, there are some websites, and they have their own personal reasons, uh, you know, state-driven or not, uh, for wanting people to use their legitimate identity. Uh, you know, and for example, I am more than willing to put my legitimate identity out here on the Internet. I mean, I've got my actual first and last name here on my channel. I have parts of uh, where I live and even my phone number on my Facebook page. Probably a bad security idea if somebody ever wants to fuck with me, but, you know, hey, I'll take the chance. Don't put yeah. them on iCloud. No, I will never have an Apple product ever uh, outside of using my girlfriend's iPad every once in a while, but even then I have no accounts linked to that. Thank mm -hmm. God. Um, but, you know, there, there's websites out there that, you know, do allow for or should suggest that they you put on your real information. But the rest of the internet, you really shouldn't have to put who you actually are anyway. The whole, the whole point of the modern internet, well, not anymore now that they're trying to fight it, but it it's like it was a great way to anonymously get your thoughts out. And no one could, I mean, they could ridicule your individual post, but they couldn't, like, your reputation would be fine. Now, take that how you will, but I guess now the question comes down to Adam and Matt is... Do you believe in state enforced co state enforced copyright? And I'll go to Matt first. Well, what do you mean by that? Answer, what do you mean state enforced? Um, you know where um, if I post, let's say I pirate one of your games, right? Okay. Should the state, because I pirated your game, I'm should... just gonna come to your house with a sawn off. Right. Okay, but that's you and not the state. So. Oh, okay. But for state driven stuff, if I pirate one of your games. Yep. Should I be? Should I? Should the state be allowed to find me or send me to jail? Well, let's pretend, you none of, let's pretend none of the money I get fined does not go to you at all. Just stays with the government. Right. Should I? Should they be allowed to send me to jail or yes. find me for that? Yes. Yes. Because Why? you've still broken the law. Okay. But do you think that should exist? Yeah. If you break a law, you go to jail. That's how it works. Matt, you're so close, but well, you're not quite there yet. Let's 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 put this into a little bit of perspective here, though. W what is theft? What is stealing? You are taking an item from somebody, <laughs> and they no longer have it. We're yeah. in the digital realm here with this, uh, so you know the <coughs> game that he pirated from your website or from whatever other random website. That is a file that exists, regardless of who has it and regardless of how many people have it. Now, granted, you're going to be the only one who has the original file, and so long as you're not clumsy and retarded with it, Matt, uh, you know that's nobody can steal your file away from you, and you not still retain it. Uh, like so, it's not so much the entirety of. What King you're saying is, he technically hasn't stole it because I still have the original, and he's just got a copy. 
Correct. You know, it's not like stealing a car where I no longer have my car because the asshole down the road stole my car. It's you, know, you both have the same thing. You both have the same access to the file. And now unless somehow you end up stealing you know, like a, an activation code, that's where it gets kind of slimy. Uh, but as far as the actual file of, the, of you know, say, a video, a music file, a game file, a book file, uh, you know, I, I can't tell you how many times I've downloaded, uh, you know, New York Times bestseller list uh, torrents on, you know, ebooks. Uh, but, you know, the the file does not change the fact that you both have it. You know, he may have gotten it, you know, what would be considered legitimately. He didn't purchase it, so therefore he's not entitled to any, uh, you know, support from you, the developer or publisher, blah blah blah, whatever. That's great. That's fine, and that's a good way to deal with that. Uh, but. You know, you both still have the file. Nothing has actually been legitimately taken. Now, he has not given you money, which is really, really shitty, but there's nothing been actually stolen. And this is where there's the fundamental difference between you and I, I think, uh, in that, well, first off, I don't think the state should have any anything to do with these kind of anything. interactions. Uh, well, well, that too, but, uh, you know, for the example of Chuck stealing your game, Matt, uh, I think you should be allowed to go after him and say, hey, you stole... Well, you you took this game without paying for it. You have a copy of the game, and you you never gave me recompense for it. Pay me. Right, Do so it. I'm Do it now. Game. I say this is the only copy of the game I know of. I want to be paid for this game to come out. Somebody gets it without paying for it. What should I do if I don't get if not get the state involved? All right, here. Well, All right, I got here's the first, here's the first problem. Actually, uh, if you're wanting to get versions of your game out copies are going to be made. So you may have the original, but you know, once the copies are out there, what happens after, you know, maybe let's just say I purchased your game. Great, okay. cool. You know, you and I are in, you know, in great cahoots. You know, we have a good business relationship, fantastic, whatever. Awesome. Cool. No harm, no harm, no foul. Absolutely. Let's just say I'm playing the game on my computer and scumbag Chuck over there comes over and he pops in his USB stick, he downloads a program and you know, he downloads the game, gets a, some kind of weird activation code uh, key gen formulator thing, and steals an activation code or creates a bullshit activation code that allows him to play the game for free. That's kind of slimy. That is really bullshitty. A couple of different actions you can take is you can either IP ban him you know, on your own without any access from the state. You can basically have your game set up to where any and all support, if there's any problems... Either they're on their own, or they actually have to legitimately pay for the game and have uh, basically a end user license agreement type kind of thing. Uh, or you know, three, you, you knock down his door and be like, "Hey, asshole, <laughs> pay me for the goddamn game." And uh, if I don't, it's, pay... it's not difficult to track those kind of files. Yeah, and if I don't pay you for the game, Matt, if you want to get your money back, now let's say I, like absolutely refuse to pay you, right? So you can refuse me any sort of service. Um, you can say. Okay, fine. You can keep the game, but haha, ha, sucks to be you. There's a game-breaking bug for people who don't buy the game, and I did this intentionally. So enjoy your uh, your shitty non-playable game. Or B, there's there's something Adam didn't talk about, and that is you can actually in a free society, Matt. Let's pretend we're in a free, stateless society. All right. Okay. So no government. Okay. I steal your game. Yeah. You know what you can do? Find out who I am. And um, you know what? Put my information out there. And put me out. Put out my reputation. Put it out that I am a scumbag who didn't pay for your game. And then you can start asking other business owners for other things that I might need to live. And say, if he doesn't pay for my video game, what else is he willing to not pay for? And then less and less people are probably going to be willing to sell to me or well, sell at a higher price. They aren't selling to you. You're just stealing. But what does no. it matter if you're just going to take the files no. anyway? No, 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 no. But you can put my information out there as a thief and show it to other businesses, not just game developers, but like grocery stores. You can put it out hey, there this, and, hey, the this, of thief, this guy is a thief. Yeah, you can basically... What, what, yeah. Basically what you would do is, you know, I'll try to explain it a yeah, little I'm bit really easier. Yeah, um, <laughs> Let's... You know, again, Chuck stole your game because he's a, a fucking dirtbag. You know, no surprise there. It's Chuck. What do you expect? Um, no, you, no, no, you go and you'll, you'll put the information out in whatever avenues you have necessary with you and say, hey, look, this guy took a product without paying for it uh, or he copied a product without paying for it. Um, 
you know, this guy is is not a good guy. I don't think anybody should do business with you. Um, and you can, like he said, tell a grocery store, hey, you know, he's he essentially stole from me in a roundabout way. Uh, I would recommend that you do no business with him uh, because, you know, he's a low-life crook. He's a no-good person. Something else we can talk about is uh, the dispute resolution organizations uh, where – because everybody's going to basically have a form of insurance, and we can kind of dig into that in another time. And there's some shows that I can link you to uh, from other people, including Stefan Molyneux, Tom Woods, uh, Walter Block, and several others on the Voluntary Virtues Network that can explain this a little bit better with DROs. Uh, basically, your company – will go to his uh, insurance company or his dispute resolution organization and say, hey, look, your client has uh, taken a file without permission and without paying for it, uh, pay up. And this will be something that will actually, what the fuck? Hold on. Careful. My camera just flipped out. There we go. All right, we're good. Anyways, the, the whole concept is that uh, there will be ways in which you can use your influence through either your insurance companies and dispute resolution organizations uh, to basically ostracize Chuck out of the marketplace to where nobody's going to want to do business with you, and then you'll say, hey, pay up, or we're going to keep putting the precious on you. So, or put the pressure on you. I precious, precious, I'm sorry. Putting the precious I've on had you. A, I've had a long day today. You have no oh, idea. Gollum is just like, oh. <laughs> the precious! But, Get Gollum away from me, to, I'll pay for the game! Yeah, but as <laughs> as opposed to nowadays, where people are getting thrown in prison, uh, you know, for piracy, uh, or they're getting you know shot dead in the streets, uh, in some cases when they're running away from the cops, which you know that I interrupt the cops anyways, but whatever. Uh, the, the whole point of it being that voluntary interaction in amongst different communities and different people uh, should, and in many cases do, uh, allow for you know, essentially increased security of your game uh, because people are going to realize, oh, hey, you know, Matt over there, he can make my life a fucking living hell if I don't pay for the game. And obviously we shouldn't have everybody live on that fear. Everybody should want to, you know, compensate people for the work that they do. Right. But for the jerk bags that don't want to, uh, you know, there are ways to get them to pay uh, without, you know, having a gun shoved in their face, without having a court system to shell out thousands of dollars to prosecute them, which ultimately comes out of the, our taxpayer dollars, which comes out of our pockets. Uh, and guess what? Any other monies don't go back to you. You don't win anything. In fact, you're going to shell out more money going to the state, going to the courts to get recompense anyways, and you're paying into the system. Again, you're going to lose money using the government, uh, which, again, is classic government. Uh, yeah, they're going to jack up the money. They're going to jack up the money supply. They're going to screw you over. And they're going to take all the money and run and be all like, ha, 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 there's no monopolies. Monopolies don't so, exist, but fuck you. We have your money. So I guess the question is, Matt, now after hearing all this, have you changed your mind? Um, have you come close to I it? Got from that was, you something to think about. All I got from that was it's, it's, nothing will not really change clear. and the government gets my money. Yeah. So, so I guess the question is, is though, could you see um, dispute resolutions over things like piracy... Uh, without government intervention, and do you, now do you understand how it could be done viably, without people getting thrown in prison or anything like that? And, and I should actually uh, kind of preface this saying that this isn't the only options. I mean, I don't know exactly what could happen. I'm certainly no expert. I mean, obviously you guys know this. Uh, you know, I can't even begin to wonder, you know, how we would deal with, you know, roads or 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 hospitals or you know, security. Or, or piracy or things of that nature. I can't even begin to imagine the solutions that people would come up with. Maybe people come up with you know awesome code writing that if somebody downloads a, a game that they didn't pay for, you know, it fucks their computer to death. I don't know. You know, people are crazy motherfuckers when it comes to being able to be creative. Uh, it's just we shouldn't require a, a gun to the head of you know everybody within the country uh, in order to pay for you know, the infraction of one person. And there, there it That's is. That's just me, though. The, I think that where you hit it right on the head, Adam. So the real so, problem is this whole uh, legislation coming into play because of this one guy that uploaded these nudes. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, our, we're anarchists. Our problem is with government in general. But, yes, that's kind of what brought this topic up for me was 
people's nudes get leaked all the time to 4chan, but all of a sudden it's a celebrity. And suddenly the whole world has to act on it. But we're almost at 30 minutes. I believe we might be a little over 30 minutes. So It's recorded. Who cares? We'll uh, yeah, but, make it a little bit longer. But um, thank you, Matt. I hope we gave you at least something to think about. Not really. No? no. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Matt. Um, I try not to think too much on things I can't change myself. Well, but maybe you can. That's the thing. But anyways, okay. thank you everyone for watching the one show on the internet where all three people are wearing the same color shirt. Someone can I show my nipples again. now, Chuck? No. <laughs> uh, um, but once Damn again, it. guys, I'm Chuck the Liberty Geek. Thank you for Matt for joining us, for giving some interesting viewpoints. Um, and Adam for basically um, also giving his viewpoints, which he is able to express way better than I can. Thank you guys oh, so much. That is extremely generous to say that I can uh, say things better than you can. <laughs> Oh, Christ, that, that was a that was a mess, man. I tell you what, I can't. That, that's not. Um, I I couldn't have done better. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Oh, that was too big. I like. Let me try that again. Bye. I love you, Matt. You make me happy. I love you I too. I have your babies. Okay, I'll give you the term.